guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to have a very chilled laid back video. So you guys already noticed that I'm sitting in a different area. I'm sitting on the floor. I'm wearing my most comfortable clothes. Like I'm wearing like this really cute mustard yellow sweater that I got from Target, 20 bucks. And then in my, like literally my lounge wear uh, um, old Navy sweats, they are literally the most comfortable sweats in the world. But I want to just sit back and chill with you guys and do a different video that I have never done here on my channel before. And that is a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. So you guys want to see what I got, what my thoughts are on all of this, well then please definitely keep on watching. Okay, so I have never, ever, ever done a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul here on my channel. Honestly, I really don't go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls that often. I think I only ever go there for clothes because sometimes they have the cutest clothes. But when it comes to makeup, I'm not going to lie, I get really, really skeptical because I have seen some makeup products there that were disgusting. They were used, they were broken into, there was hair on some of them. and. Some of them might have been expired, so I've always been really, really scared and hesitant to try any makeup that's sold at the stores. But I know that one of my good friends, Paige Corn, does these hauls on her channels all the time. And a new person that I just recently discovered, Leah Jian, Jaina. I'm sorry if I'm saying her last name wrong. I watched quite a few of her videos and I never hear her say her last name. So she just recently did a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul as well. And her video, I was like, oh shit, they have these products at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Are you serious? I had no clue. And her video really, really inspired me to go out and see what I could find at my local TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'll actually have her video linked down below. But I've always wanted to try something like this. I just, whenever I have gone there, I've never had the best luck at finding anything. I don't know it's because where I live in, in Florida, where it's a very touristy popular area that the good items tend to go quickly. I'm not entirely sure, but I knew I just wanted to try this out. And I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a video or not. So once I get done talking, I'm going to play my vlog style-esque video and I do apologize now for being a shitty quality. I was really really nervous to film in public because I haven't filmed in public in a while. I mean granted I do with Corey but I was I mean he was with me but I was by myself and people tend to stare at you when you're talking <laughs> by yourself at makeup products. So I got a little uncomfortable and the first TJ Maxx that I went to didn't want me to film because there's someone actually stocking the products at the time. Then I went to Marshall's and then I went back to TJ Maxx at a different location. So I will definitely show you guys some clips of my trip. I hope you guys get to see the whole vlog and I'll see whatever I can include, whatever came out great. And then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you guys all the items that I bought and what my thoughts are. This is actually gonna be the first part to a part two series because the first part I'm just bare face wanting just to relax with you. I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I got and whatnot. And then in my second video, I'm actually gonna do a full face trying on all these products products. So I'm really, really, really excited. Um, there was a girl there that on my very first 3G Max that I went to, she was looking at all the makeup with me. No idea who she was, but she was just like, do you think this makeup is expired? And I was like, I really, really hope not. Now, the reason why one of them I really questioned, I'll get into a little bit is because of how different the packaging is. And I was like, expired <laughs> I wasn't sure but you know what if it is I don't care it's an all good fun I had a lot of fun during this and hopefully I can do more stuff like this in the future so with that said guys let's go ahead and jump straight into the vlog okay so <laughs> I get so nervous okay so we just pulled up to TJ Maxx and I'll see if I can vlog on the inside I, I don't know um I get really really uncomfortable vlogging in public by myself like Corey's with me like hey hey Corey he's with me but like he'll walk around and I'll be at the makeup section so I don't know what we're gonna find I don't know if this is gonna be video but if it is I'll take you guys with me and try to film stuff I just may not talk because then it looks like I'm talking to myself and I'll be wearing a mask and that's just awkward but I may make Corey come stand next to me so it sounds like I'm talking to him but I'm really talking to you guys so we'll see but yeah we'll see what I find I just saw this. This is uh, retails for $6.99, but it's in black. And the ones that I have are not black. They're in white packaging. This is 
is in black. It's tipped. So I think I'm going to put this one back because this one might expire. I'm not totally sure. And then there's this primer, setting powder, and a palette that I found so far. And I got a lot of stuff over here. Blur Moussier, milk makeup. Foundation, my name is Mary. There's a lot of revolution stuff in here. Can I pawn? Milk. Bobby Brown in the shade Rose Sugar, and it's for nine and nine. Wow. Hmm. They have a few options over here for face products. All right, so we found this one again in the shade One Two Tantalizing, but again, it comes in a black container. I'm a little worried. But I do want to do like a full face, so I guess we're gonna try it out. And it's going for $16.99 when it's like a $40 primer. Primer Jesus, a $40 bronzer or something like that. Anyway, I guess we're gonna get it. Okay, so we just left. <laughs> I look like shit. Um my hair is like three days not washed. But okay, so we just left um Marshall's and we actually found some good things at Marshall's. The first TJ Maxx that I went to um, a lot of the foundation was like cracked and opened and used and I don't know, it just didn't seem right to buy. But here, everything was actually really nice here at this Marshalls. Uh, we're actually heading to a TJ Maxx closer to my house to see if I can find anything else so I can try to do like a full face of first impressions of using makeup that I find at TJ Maxx and, and in Marshalls. It's like a haul slash full face of makeup first impressions <laughs> um but yeah so we're on our way there and they're gonna head home but um I definitely got a little weary because like some of the products I'm like is this safe and there was a girl that was walking over there she's like I hope we're not buying expired makeup and I was like me too <laughs> because one of the bronzers that I got is in a black case and typically the one that I have is in a white case so I'm like oh god this has been discontinued like yeah, 2015 yeah so I'm a little worried but you know we're, it's all good fun it's all good fun so we're gonna see what I find and I'm trying to videotape for you guys the first Marshalls um I'm sorry the first TJ Maxx the person didn't want me to film this one there was no one there but it's still really awkward because people are looking at me just talking to myself they probably think I'm crazy but yeah I don't know so I just felt a little uncomfortable so I'm trying to get comfortable with it he leaves me to go walk around the store so I'm like great <laughs> can I stand next to me so yeah, I can talk I'm gonna stand at the makeup section I'm gonna go look and see if there's anything cool I don't know unless I'm not talking to myself it's still like I mean like whenever Corey's with me and we're vlogging it's different because like, we're doing an area that's meant to be vlogged I don't really know who vlogs and Marshall's and TJ Maxx and I know it happens all the time I've seen it literally I've seen it like I know I've seen Paige do it and Leo do it but shit I, I don't do it and it just makes me so weird I just feel so weirded out but our last TJ Maxx I'm gonna try to film everything and talk and show you guys stuff more stuff than just what I pick up for myself so yeah <laughs> you look cute so on, on to the next stop. Okay, so this one already looks so much nicer. Everything's nice and organized. This is some of the lips products that they have here. Not really seeing any name brands, but some of the one Stella holiday kit. This right here. This is the Stella and this retails for $12.99. Not bad. And they have these cool little like NARS cracker, like, like open cracker for $14.99. That's not bad. You twist it open like a holiday kit. That's pretty cool. Right over there. Look at all these MAC lipsticks that are over here. These are so pretty colors. I know some of these were actually like staples that are here, but I never really see that many MAC lipsticks. There's tons of Stelos, tons of EVH as well. It's really cool. And some Milani. Like this right here retails for $7.99 and the American Doll retails for free. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, six ninety nine. That's actually really not bad. But these are some cool colors I have right over here. Nice. I'll see if I can find one. Oh, way back here we have. Oh, lime crime back there as well. Nice. I'm seeing tons of the Stella Souffle right here. This retails for $9.99. There's tons and tons of the Becca um, Ultimate Coverage Foundation. Some more Becca powders right over here. Some highlighters. We have some Clinique ABH. We have Milk Foundation. This retails for $11.99. We have all Mar Jacobs, the Omega Bronze right here. And Shade Tank. They're all black though. Containers. We have some Marc Jacob products, some L'Oreal, <laughs> some Lorac. Seven ninety nine. Nice. Okay, so look, they actually have this ABH. This is the holiday set that came out last year. These are loose highlighters right here, which I think is actually really cool. They have some blushes, some bronzers down here. They also have the Chrissy Teigen collection with Becca. This is the glosses right here. This retails for $5.99. Uh, this retails right here for, well, you know, I don't know what this is retailing for. There's no price. And if I get a price, I'll let you guys know it. Tons and tons of stuff over here. I like the whole matte collection. It's really cool. And then you have tons of palettes and stuff. I actually am finding this little troll palette right here. This came out this past March, the whole troll collection. This retails for like what, $4.99? How insane, this just came out in March. That's actually really cool. Oh, they have this NYX Loveless Disco for $3.99. They have tons of brow products. Um, there's a lot of billion dollar brows products here. Like tons of billion dollar brows. These are actually really good products and these are going for $3.99 a piece. And they have like the full kit going for $6.99. That's actually fantastic. And it's a universal shade. Well, it says it's supposed to be universal shade, but is it though? Just picked this up for $24.99. This came out like two years ago. Got some Urban Decay Wired. You got some J-Cat. You got the Too Faced Natural Matte palette right here. This is actually going for $19.99. You have a Lorac collection you have car beauty i actually really like car beauty so that's actually really cool 7.99 for a whole kit right there that is so cool oh my god i'm sorry i'm horrible at this filming crap <laughs> i'm so sorry because i'm not actually paying attention you guys are paying attention to what i'm grabbing but you have tons and tons of revolution beauties right over here top of them right here that's really nice oh my god my face is just getting oily see look at this guys i literally just washed my face today right and moisturize okay oil central okay this is what happened look how large these pores are disgusting and you guys are so sweet you guys constantly like sending me like tips and remedies that you guys use guys i have tried it all trust me i use i've used facial oils i've done masks i've done so much it's the part of beauty okay this is just what my skin likes to do anyway um besides that so we just left uh tj maxx i really like that tj maxx they keep it so nice and organized and going through their makeup section was a lot easier it just was really weird because it was kind of like condensed down to just one side so only one cart can go through at a time so i'm trying to like discreetly film and not sound like crazy and people keep trying to come up next to me to look at stuff and i'm always like oh sorry like and i turn the camera off because i get so like weirded out i just get so weirded out finally Corey sit next to me and he just like watch me look at some stuff and i do apologize that the footage is not great by any means um because i'm so busy looking at the product itself that when i look down at the camera i'm like oh my god you guys are not actually seeing what i'm showing or you guys are seeing it off at a weird angle obviously i'm a good youtuber <laughs> obviously the best <laughs> so um i know i know i'm so bad but this is my first time doing something like this you guys gotta give me credit um but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go home and I'm going to film everything that I got and tell you guys what I got, what my thoughts are, because I do some thought, thoughts on some things. And yeah, and then I think the next video, I don't know if I'll do in this video, maybe depending on how long this video is, I'm going to do a full face of everything I got. Because I try to buy something of everything. I try buying a primer, foundation, concealer, setting powder, the works. So I could actually do like a full face of makeup that I bought at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So we'll definitely see what this turns into, but I'm excited. And yeah, let's go ahead and 
see what I got. Okay, so the first bag that we're gonna get into, I don't really know how this works, by the way, but the first bag we're gonna get to is the first TJ Maxx that I went to. I only picked up three items from this TJ Maxx. This TJ Maxx is located in a very, very popular area of Orlando, so it was pretty wiped out. I didn't see any sort of lip products, barely any. And I tend to never go to that TJ Maxx. No offense to that one, but it's pretty trashed all the time. You only see clothes all over the floor. You only see scattered makeup. That's where I found the foundation that was covered in hair. Oh, I wanted to show that, but that's where the lady was restocking. And she's like, Mamie can't be filming right now. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but I only picked up three items that I saw here, but my next TJ Maxx I went to after that was actually quite surprising. So the first item that I picked up, bear with me, it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Now this originally retailed for $33, but I purchased it for $24.99. Now, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, I have not purchased anything from Too Faced Cosmetics in a very, very, very long time. I tended to stay away from Too Faced and KVD because of all the controversy that surrounded them. But then I realized that my job here on YouTube is to review makeup and nothing else and to not be biased. If I'm willing to review JSC or was willing to, willing to review JSC, then I should be able to do the same thing for every other problematic brand. It's my job here to review makeup, take all the drama and controversy side and just view the product for what it is and not the name on it. So I'm going to stick to my gun, stick to my word, and I'm actually going to do what I said I'm going to do. So I purchased this palette. Um, I've never played with any of these palettes before. This is actually in like a big casing that you had to go to the front desk to get it to, um, front desk. Wow. Am I at a hotel? Um, cashier <laughs> to unlock this. So I don't even know if the shadows are okay. I didn't even look at it. It was completely sealed. Um, so the first thing you see is a glamour guide. Oh, it's cool. Shows you little eye looks that you can do with this palette. Oh, that's a really pretty eye look. And when you open it up, okay, so the shadows do look good. This is definitely in time for the fall season. Does it smell? Oh, Too Faced always has really good smelling products. I will give them that. I will definitely be creating a look with this today. This is, like I said, my first time. I think this came out, I want to say this came out last year, I believe. Because I think right now they released a pumpkin spice latte palette. But this is one of the ones I picked up. And it wasn't too much of a discount, $33 down to $24. So you're really taking off like $9.70. But hey, that's awesome. It was the only one there too. The next product that I got was from Marc Jacobs and it is the Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. So originally this cost $20 and I picked it up for $12.99. It's in the shade 34 Invisible. Um, I only own two things from Marc Jacobs and it's the Omega Bronzer, thanks to wonderful subscriber, as well as a um, lip gloss, thanks to wonderful subscribers. So I finally saw this and I was like, oh, I gotta pick this up. Wow, this is like so little, by the way. If I'm not looking at you guys the entire time, I do apologize, obviously I'm conceited and just wanna stare at myself. Um, so I don't know how this is going to perform, but I don't even know if this is gonna be my shade, but we're gonna go for it. It says it's invisible. I tried going online to look at the different shade rings and I didn't see anything. So we're gonna make this work, whether this fits me or not. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work and then the last product that i picked up at the store was this travel size undercover blurring coconut face primer so originally this retailed for 12 dollars and it was on sale for six dollars and 99 cents so uh, this is the hopefully it's a good product i think i did see like the full sizes there i shouldn't have not picking them up but this is the product right here it looks nice Oh. oh my god. What? I just shot out at me. Like, you know what it looks like? Oh my god. Whoa. It just shot up everywhere. Oh my god. I look like Mary from. There's something about Mary. Ooh. I don't know if I like how that smells. Oh, it's all over this. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. All right. So these are like the three items that I got from the first TJ Maxx. And like I said, we are going to do in my next video, a full on try on of all these products. So I just try that one out. 
All right, so the next store that we ended up going to was uh, Marshalls. And the reason I went to Marshalls, because I know Marshalls uh, has their own like beauty section as well. So when we were at Marshalls, I was able to find a lot of goodies. So the first thing that I found was this Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. Now, I got really weary, weary about picking this up because I have the Omega Bronzer. I already have it myself. But I saw this all over TJ Maxx and I saw it all over Marshalls, but I was really hesitant to pick it up because it's in a black um, packaging. And on the inside, there's like this little black insert. We have the powder right here. And I don't know if this is gonna be my shade because I have the shade 104, this is in 102. Um, but I don't know if this is expired or not because the one that I have is in a white packaging. Let me show you actually. So this is the one that I have right here and it's in a white packaging. And I distinctly remember seeing like Jaclyn Hill and so many people use this and it's always, Mm, smells so smells so good it's always in a white packaging so i haven't seen it in a black packaging ever so i don't know like when the last time they had it in a black packaging so it's why i'm like a little nervous and hesitant because i don't remember ever seeing this packaging design i'm assuming that it's safe i mean i feel like it definitely has to be but we're definitely going to give it a try i don't know if it's my shade personally but it definitely made me nervous but we're going to give it a try and the price on this was $16.99 and it's originally retailed for $28. So we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> you know, I'm a little nervous. All right, so the next product that I picked up was this Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now, I tried to look at the online website to see what shade I'd be close to. I was very, very limited on a foundation range, but I made it my goal to do a full face of TJ Maxx and Marshall Hall. Like, I wanna be able to do a full face. So, the shade that I picked up is in the shade Buff. I think it might be too dark for me. It was either this or vanilla, but I think vanilla was too fair. So we're gonna try to make it work, but this is, um, this retailed for $13. So that's compared to $13 and retails for $9.99. I swear the Becca Foundation was a lot more than $13. I don't know, but we're gonna give this a go. Hopefully it's a good product. I also picked up the Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss. So this is, a uh, $17 lip gloss that retails for $9.99. Now this is where I got really, really hesitant because it's not like the box was like sealed whatsoever. So you could just easily open it up and then you have the product right here. And I did fully inspect this because I got worried because some people can literally just take the product, swipe it on their hand, put it on their lips. You just never, never know. So I was really, really hesitant to get a lip product, but I just said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it for the video. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> I will try to sanitize products before I do a full face, but has a very, very strong like peppermint smell. But yeah, I just, I got really worried to buy lip products that weren't sealed fully just cause you just never know with those stores. Trust me, whenever I used to go to Sephora at Disney Springs, I couldn't tell you how many times I would see people take the testers off the stand and just put it right on their lips. And I'd be like, Ugh, the whole time. Cause that's one, that's just gross. And two, they put it back and I would go tell a Sephora employee and they'd be like, I guess I'll clean it. And one bitch didn't even want to. I was like, um, are you gonna take care of that? She's like, mm. and I was like, all right. So when she wasn't looking, I threw it in the trash. <laughs> Cause it's just so gross. It's so freaking gross. Oh, people can be so gross. Um, I also picked up the Milk Makeup. This is a highlighting stick. Now you guys already know, I don't like highlighting sticks whatsoever, but I didn't have any luck finding any sort of highlighters. So this is the only thing I found at the time, but this retails for $5.99 compared to $10.99. I don't really know if that's the correct price range. I'm just going off of what it was for here, but this is a product. It is completely sealed. I have um, don't ever use anything from Milk Makeup, but this is how it looks. Like this thing is freaking massive. Like. That is huge, completely sealed. It looks really nice. I saw they actually had quite a few milk products there. If I don't end up using this, I probably might add this into my No Waste Wednesday just because I was able to find a highlighter somewhere else. So, all right, and the last product that I picked up was this milk concealer. This is in the shade Light Sand, and this retails for $7.99 compared to $13. Like I said, I haven't used anything from milk. This is completely sealed up, so I felt safe grabbing it. But that is everything I got from Marshalls. I was really, really getting excited for this video because I thought, okay, cool, I'm actually really getting a full face. Really didn't expect that to happen. And then we went to the last TJ Maxx, and I really like this TJ Maxx. So on this one, they had quite a few goodies. So the first thing I picked up was this NYX Love Just Disco 
lip kit. So this retails for $3.99 compared to $5 you guys can find, I guess, back in the holiday time. But it's a beautiful red lip kit right here. I was excited to pick that up. I saw that I had like a whole range of like ABH liquid lips and MAC, li MAC, <laughs> MAC lipsticks. I thought that was really cool. Um, apparently from Leah's video, those are common colors that are there all the time. But like I said, I never see those colors there because I uh, my other one that I went to didn't have anything like that there. So that was actually really cool. I also picked up this ABH um, highlighter set right here. And I know this was a Christmas special that came out this past Christmas. I saw two of these there and I was like, oh shit, like those are there, what? I remember them coming out last year and they were such like a huge, huge hit. So this cost $16.99 and it was originally cost $23, but it's like different highlighters, which I thought was so cool. Like I didn't expect to see that there and I thought that was awesome. And I was so excited to quickly snag that up because that one was actually pretty packed and people were trying to get their hands on products. Next, I picked up this blush kit from um, ABH as well. This is Pink Passion Blush Kit. It retails for $9.99 compared to $13, but I feel like ABH is more expensive than that. And I did check the product when I was there just to make sure before I got anything, I like to check the products just cause I was like, I'm weary, but you know, my hands are so slippery because of that freaking powder. But this is the blush set right here. I tried to find a blush. Um, it was not the easiest to find a blush. I was not able to get brows because the one product that I did find was Billion Dollar Brow, which I really do love that one, but they were only selling like really, really blonde brow products and I don't have blonde brows. Blonde hair, but not blonde brows. And then tons of mascara, but I completely forgot to look at the mascaras. At that point, I was starving. I had a headache and I was just ready to go home and I didn't find anything like that. So we're just gonna do my own brows and mascara on its own. The next product I picked up was another Becca product, and it's the Endless Glow Chrissy Teigen Collection. This is a lip gloss in the shade uh, Beach Nectar, Beach Nectar, I believe. But I saw just a few of these there, and I was like, oh, let me look at these. I thought it was like a highlight. And then I actually saw the gloss, and I was like, oh, bitch. That is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Now, this retails for $5.99 compared to $8. I don't know if this gloss is really $8. I feel like these prices are a little misleading. And I'm sorry if they are, I'm just going off what the sticker shows right there. And the last product that I picked up, which I was actually really surprised to find because I remember this rolled out right when we hit quarantine back in March and it was the Pure X Troll eyeshadow palette collection. Now this is the only one there and it was completely sealed, hidden behind other stuff. And I was like, oh shit. And this retailed for $4.99 compared to $7.00. But I remember this rolled out and it was like in Trend Moon box and whatnot. And I remember it was being a huge deal. And I looked at it and yeah, it's pink. But I was like, oh my God, like that is so freaking cute. It hasn't been touched whatsoever. Ooh, has a nice smell to it as well. But how cool was that? I didn't even know that they would have the troll collection there at all. And the fact I only had one, I was like, yo, I cannot miss that. So overall i did spend a little bit of money um when i went shopping but i used whatever i got paid from youtube to invest it back in my channel to make this video for you guys and i'm really excited i'm really excited to see how these these products perform what my thoughts are on it and hopefully see what maybe the christmas time has to offer because i actually had a lot of fun doing this video and finding these items for you guys it was actually really cool because like i said i've never ever ever done this before and it's my first time and i actually really enjoyed it and i just wish that i could have like filmed more for you guys it just feels weird when you have your camera doing it i made corey stand next to me at one point acting like i was talking to him but i really wasn't and then i realized how bad of a photographer i was because i was so busy looking at the product like this where i'm holding the camera and i look down like you guys are staring at something else i'm like oh god i'm such a great youtuber <laughs> clearly i know what i'm doing but you guys definitely suggested me to do different stuff out of my comfort zone try different videos do like a haul video do a declutter my makeup collection video which i'm definitely really thinking about doing it because it may not look like much behind me but there are some products behind me that i haven't touched in a long time that i really do want to get rid of because though it looks kind of empty, this right here is my blush and bronzer drawer and I have no more room to add bronzer because it's just so full in the back and I have my blushes up here, my highlighter drawer. Um, I think I really got to clean this one out. This is my lashes drawers are completely full, my brow drawer, my powder drawer, my concealer drawer with more bronzer in the back right back there, mascara drawer. All these bottom ones are completely full and 
I haven't even began to even look at my palette drawer and my skincare drawer. Now, I feel like doing a declutter video, but I think I might break it into like two parts. I might just do a palette declutter and then just a makeup declutter because that would be such a long, long video. And maybe eventually a skincare because my skincare is getting so full too because for like the last, I don't know, seven months, <laughs> every single subscription box is like, you know what? You need skincare. So yeah, it's actually fun to just kind of do something different. It keeps it like more spicy on my channel. So um, the very next video you guys are going to see is not going to be my uh, makeup video. My tomorrow's video is actually going to be my No Waste Wednesday, which I'm so excited about. And then the following video, you guys will see my full face of products that I bought at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But this was such a fun video. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this, let me know. If you guys want me to take you guys next time I go shopping at Target, please let me know because I spend a majority of my time at Target in uh, women's clothing because I love, love, love Target clothes more than anything. I think they're some of the most comfortable clothes in the world. And I will always, always shop at Target. And I'm always in the makeup section and they just redid my Target so it looks like perfection. <laughs> and I'm there like, every two days. It's kind of pathetic. I just love walking around and going to Target, just walking around half the time. So, <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it for my TJ Maxx and Marshall's haul. Hopefully you guys like this video. I'm sorry if it's not as fun and invigorating as like Paige and Leah's videos are. They're like professionals at this. I am very, very new. I'm a newbie and <laughs> an amateur at this. No idea what I'm doing. Hopefully I did it right. And well, if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post every day, every other day, just depending. Also, make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R4 to Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures of me and fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! in the world. I don't think this is crap. I gotta start over. And hopefully I can do stuff like this again in the future. Just, oh, and I ended up grabbing on. I ended up grab. Uh. <laughs> and I ended up grabbing up. That I ended up grabbing later on. Did I leave a drink over there? Oh shit. I always didn't want to post. I always. Or, it's originally compared. And it was originally cost. And it,